Coast, the Canna Sleepers Dingo have been in Australia for more than 4,000 years. In most places of Australia, dingoes are known as native animals. However, they are not protected the same as other native species. So, when does a so-called alien predator become a native species? A recent study with domestic dogs, Canis familiaris and domestic cats, Felis catus, published in the journal PLOS One on the 15th of February 2012. PhD student Alexander Carthy from the University of Sydney and her supervisor Peter Bank was performed to understand that if a long-term experience with an alien predator reduces the level of inexperience shown by prey species, Carthy and Banks were then able to predict that the bandicoot's far longer coexistence with dingoes compared with feral cats should enable them to recognise the predation risk in domestic dogs and not cats. 227 surveys out of 2,000 were recorded from households adjacent to national parks in Sydney, where bandicoots have been sighted or their digging patterns are common. Those were multiple choice, asking questions of any pets they owned, if they, were, if they had seen bandicoots or had their foraging holes present, if their pets were kept indoors at night, and the size of the... From those received, Carthy and Banks removed the bandicoot inaccessible yards and were left with 197 yards. Of those, they found that 97 had no pets, 52 had dogs, and 36 had cats. The results received were shown that the presence of a dog was associated with fewer signs of bandicoot. Figure 1 shows that dog owners were more likely to report never seeing or rarely seeing dogs fresh diggings and B, never seeing diggings at all. Above the bars are adjusted standardised residuals from the possible analysis of each question for dogs versus no pets and cats versus no pets. The negative indicate a smaller proportion choosing that answer and positive a greater number choosing that answer. Table 1 demonstrates that there was no effect on the bandicoot activity by the size or number of pets, or whether the pets or food were left outside overnight. While Table 2 shows that yard size, paving and watering frequency were not related to the types of pets owned. Results found by Carthy and Banks suggest that native bandicoots recognise the threat posed by dogs and not cats on choosing where to forage. These findings support Carthy and Banks' hypothesis that 4,000 years of experience with dingoes are sufficient for native wildlife to recognise and respond to the predation risk of dogs and therefore dingoes.